Okay, folks, so welcome to another episode of Jamo's Kitchen TV. Well, today I'm gonna make a simple dish. Yeah, it's some aki and tuna fish fry dumpling. Okay, so stay tuned, guys. Alright, bless up. I'll show you the process what it looks like. Alright, bless. So, here on the table, here you can see I have all the ingredients. Alright, you know, so I have coconut milk which I left. Okay, I have the tuna fish in I can. Bell pepper, thyme, red onion, white onion. You know what this already? Tomato, scallion. And we have the flour we're gonna need up the um, the dumpling. And then I put baking powder in it. And now already have the aki prepared because I can aki you know so see can aki uh, bust the can and put the aki in this to drain. So watch the process guys. So I'm going to start cut up the ingredient if you work with the can aki because I'm going to make the aki and the tuna fish right away I'm going to see so here we have the um, red onion cutting up the red onion guys and we're going to cut up the bell pepper with the red onion tomato, cilantro and the thyme yeah Bring it down for just go and fry and all of that so the vegetable particles just uh, get soft. So, we yeah, cut up the red onion. Cut up the red onion first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cut up the red onion. Go and try get the, the surface part of the red onion in it. So, here I'm going to do. I'll take off some of the top layer, half of the onion. Just like my onion soft when I look about it. You see? Alright, cut him up here now. Cut up the red onion, you know. Cut him up little, you know. Cut it up small. See? Cut up the red onion very small. Okay, this red onion very small. Okay, red onion very small. Take this out the way. Take the red onion very small. Then we gonna cut up some bell pepper, which we call sweet pepper. Okay. We'll cut the seed out of the sweet pepper. Mm -hmm. Cut that up too, you know? Cut up the sweet pepper. Yeah. After we cut up the sweet pepper, move to another step. Let me wash them sweet pepper. Alright. Sweet pepper, you know what? Let me just put these things in this pan right away. So we make space for the counter. So, red onion that we're gonna use, and this, all the rest of the ingredient, we'll put it in this. Okay, so we cut up the, um, the sweet pepper. Cut up the sweet pepper, people. Come half you have them thing here inside of the aki. You know? So I'm gonna cut up the sweet pepper right now. Make sure I cut up the sweet pepper small too. I'm gonna cut thing here, they take long to cook and get soft. I want them, want them get get soft, you know? Alright, good. So cutting up the sweet pepper. Very tiny. Cut it up real tiny. Let me see what it looks like. Cutting it up real tiny. Real 
tiny guys, yeah. These pieces are real tiny. And then cut up the sweet pepper again. One whole sweet pepper me are using. Vegetable, you know. Aki a vegetable to it. Yeah. Real good. Bear with me, guys. I'm just doing this um, preparation. So, cutting up this bell pepper, and then I'm gonna show you the next step. So, bell pepper almost finished cutting up. Alright, so. After that, I'm just gonna add the bell pepper to the red onion, and then, yep, mm-hmm, yeah, just like that, just like that, just like that, so yeah, bell pepper, red onion, Tomato now, guys. If you have tomato in a me um in a me aki. So here we gonna do now. We gonna wash this tomato first. And then um, I'm gonna pull out the tomato seed. The tomato. I squeeze out the seed all tight before we cut it up. So here me squeeze out the tomato seed almost completely. And then we gonna cut up the tomato. Put this as so you can see. Alright, cut up the tomato without the seed. We squeeze out the seed first so the tomato now have no seed in it when we cut it up. Seedless tomato. Squeeze out all the seed. A very few seed left in it still, but that good. That can go. You know? So, here we are, guys. Then, I'm gonna put this uh, scallion, you know, just cut up the scallion, cutting up the scallion, washing it off first, we cut up the scallion with the bell pepper, the red onion, and um, the tomato, all in one, because all of this ingredient can go in a yaki pot you know. then after we cut up the the scallion I'm gonna get some thyme and then after the thyme I'll show you what next so here is the thyme guys I like cooking with thyme I'll put a nice little bunch here let me wash it off first alright you see them time you know, strong you know. So them time ya, they kind of do like this. Strip them off like this. Strip off the time off of the stick like this. You know? Yeah, strip off the time off of the stick. Yeah. Strip off the time off of the stick. So me not have that to worry with when it when the hockey cook. So you know, just a little thyme leaf going left in the hockey, so it won't be a problem to just eat. You know? So, here we go, me strip off this the leaf off of the thyme stick. Yeah. Strip them down good. So, I peel a stick them, you know. Normally, if they put the thyme whole time bunch of time in the United States with have this to deal with you know but let me, me strip it off so we don't have that to deal with after now I'm gonna cut up some cilantro wash it and cut it up guys I can't even turn on this stove right now the stove on 
So I'm going to cut up the cilantro now. In the same, in the same little bowl here. This green bowl consists of tomato, thyme, red onion, scallion, sweet pepper, cilantro. Yeah. All right. And I'll put, we have garlic and all them things that we add in a bit. But before that, rest that this up for a bit because um, I'm going to put some oil in the pot where I'm going to cook the aki and the rest going to be history. Just watch it, watch the process guys. The rest going to be history. So yeah, I'm going to put some I put some um, coconut oil. Can we look coconut oil in I put some coconut oil in the aki pot. And then we gonna put all the ingredients that you just see me cut up into the pot too. The ingredient that I got just cut up, cilantro, thyme, tomato, bell pepper, red onion, and all them things. See it here? All of them gonna go in the pot with the, with, with, with the coconut oil. And then, watch the process after that. We're gonna see what it look like, you know? So, I'm gonna put it inside this pot on the fire. And anytime you hear the sound go to shh, it's in it. It's in it to win it. It's in it to win it. So guys, here it goes. Alright, uh, just put in it in. You can listen where you hear them up there now. Alright. Yeah. Uh, so I have to pop this now, guys. I have to pop this in. So you have to pop you now. Steer me, go and steer him up in. You have to pop there. Yeah. Now stir up this. I make it stay there and stew down a bit because I have some coconut. Just put it in. Put this coconut juice in it to coconut. What is it called? Coconut milk. I make it stay there and cook them. You know? So, we're ready to put the coconut milk in right now. See coconut milk here? Coconut milk are going on in right now. Coconut milk are going on. I'm putting it in there right now. Coconut cream actually. I'll be the flavor in guys. Coconut cream will be the flavor. So yeah. The coconut cream in the I'm making, you know, go and cook down, you know, cook down, cook down, cook down, yep, yeah. I'm making cook down, you know, guys, yeah, mm hmm, making cook down meat, you know, watch the process, guys. You might see me off the camera a bit, but let's just focus on that, on this stove right now. Uh, this thing here, yeah. oh, cook down nice. The coconut, coconut milk with uh, the bell pepper, the tomato, and the red onion, and the cilantro, and the thyme. With all of that, next minute, garlic. I have some garlic here I'm going to put in it, people. If you notice, I'll add some garlic to it. And then I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to add some salt to it. I'm mean, going to use no salt fish, you know, so. A tuna fish I use, so I'm going to add some salt to it, like half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to put a little of the coconut sugar 
right about a teaspoon of coconut sugar yeah all right then we gonna put some cayenne pepper guys put some cayenne pepper because all of this will come down to a boil until the vegetable get soft you know yeah all of that coming down you know so I stir them around now stir them around coconut milk everything in this you know guys stir them around yeah all right stay tuned guys in the meantime you know what we're gonna do we're gonna start get ready for prepare the flour to make the dumpling then almost done with step one which is the hockey the hockey and the tuna fish so now make me dumpling them so me I throw the flour in this that you can see here throw the flour see it there and um, yeah I'll make some dumpling fry dumpling actually Make some nice fried on here. Uh, standby this uh, that's the standby flour you know. Up here have standby flour. In case it go wrong. So right now it's a boil down. Mm. Just see the aki pot here when we're gonna put the aki in there. See it a boil down here guys. See it here. Anytime you see this get soft. Anytime you see them thing here get soft. You turn down this to a bit. Anytime you see them thing they get soft. The aki. And the tuna fish ready to go in. You know. mm. Yes sir. And then the next step going to be fried dumpling. So let me just get the tuna fish ready too. Mm. Get the tuna fish ready guys. I'm gonna put two, two can of tuna in on this fish here. Mm -hmm. Right now the hockey pot there. Eh? We don't have focus pan on the stove right now while we get the tuna fish ready. So while we get the tuna fish ready, I keep it going. Bubble up. It might look like you know. It's a come, you know. It's a come. Be sure now. See it there? See it there, guys? And this the aki are going on you know. So this have coconut cream, it have bell pepper, it have red onion, it have um, garlic, it got cayenne pepper, it got tomato. Got all the good ingredients are going to cook them. Yeah? Alright. Bit by bit. Now focus on needing up some flour now so in this flour we're going to put some baking powder the last of the baking powder so we just add everything like one it is uh, two cup of flour with um, one little teaspoon at least than one teaspoon of um, baking powder okay mm. All right. At the aki now, aki and tuna fish are going at this now, you know, people. See, aki and the tuna fish are, are it are going at the pot now, you know. See there? Aki and tuna fish added. See the people? Aki and tuna fish added now. So. 
I can tuna fish added and we have to do is just go and stir it. Mm. Turn down this too. Okay, I'm tuna fish. Turn down the stove, man. Stir it around, people. Make gonna see. See what beauty it has. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm tuna fish, yeah. some black pepper in the egg too see it there I need another some black pepper in the egg people so I'm going to put some black pepper in the egg you know put some black pepper in the egg yeah I'm going to put the black pepper in the egg so we real ready ready up ready up Put some black pepper in it, people. Read him up in it. Mm -hmm. Right, that's in the black pepper body, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, all I have to do now is just left that pan of fire, make him, make him go on nice up. So, Saute down, cook down, to the salt fish and the tuna fish and the bell pepper and the scallion and the onion and the thyme and the tomato and the cilantro, you know, and the cayenne pepper, garlic, everything in this already. All you have to do is just go and take your time and cook down, you know. So, while it cook down people, go knead up the flour in it. So I may have fry some flour today. You know? Let me show you how I knead up this flour here now. The flour consists of some baking powder, which I have in it already. All I need to do is put in some salt in it. So, I have a little baby teaspoon here. Yeah? Go add some salt to it. Add some salt to it. Yeah. That's like less than a teaspoon of salt we put in it. Alright. What next now? May have no people in your fry your dumpling, you can put butter in it, you know, if you want your dumpling then come out soft. You know? Well, me now put butter in mine because I don't eat butter no more. So I'm going to put the coconut oil, sweepy coconut oil in this thing here. Yeah? I want it to come out soft and nice. You know? Yeah. Coconut oil. I go in the flour here. Yeah? What I'm going to fry. So the flour consists of salt and baking powder. That's all it takes, guys. So. Right now, in the meantime, tween time, we need to get this thing kneaded up. You know, see, tuna fish on, sit near go on, go on bad over here, so, you know, so, yeah, go on, see, we can turn down the stove right there, so people, yeah, so yeah. I'm going to start knead up this floor now. This floor is about to go down like show business. Show business, people. So, this floor now, with the baking powder and the salt, and the coconut oil that me use like butter. So, me have break down the coconut oil, eh? scatter it all over and spread it all over, you know? and mix up the, um, the salt and the baking powder. Next step is water. 
the add water in it and go and knead him up, you know. Slow with the water process to come, you know, and this spoil, so. Take time and knead him up. Knead him up, knead, you know. Mm. So today I just like fried dumpling, ackee and tuna fish people. First time I ever try aki with tuna fish. Normally aki and salt fish, but aki and tuna fish today, you know. Cheap meal, you know. You see, that's how it is. So, people, as me say, when you need up flour, you have to save some flour just in case if the one way you need up. Get too soft, you yeah, go add what? Some backup flour. Alright, so what I say? So, let me see if I need some backup flour in this. I think I might need some backup flour in it. Let me see first. Mm hmm. Don't need some backup flour. Not much. Just a little. So what I'm going to do next is just add it. Because put too much water there so. So come with some backup flour. And then then go ready to fry. So may I had the backup flour now. See backup flour there? Because they put too much water. So here we are now people. In the meantime, <laughs> to in time. Aki and tuna fish actually finish make already because that's not a hard meal for me. As soon as your vegetable them cook and you add in the aki and the tuna fish left it on the fire making go and saute you down. You just know say you rub up your dumpling them, put some oil in the pot ready for fry your dumpling them. And you're good to go. So I saw things setting up people. Dumpling them soon ready if you go make you know. Mm. Dumpling them soon ready if you go make. And put some more backup flour in it. See it there? Yeah man. So dumpling them soon ready if you go make. You know? Just add oil. Now add some oil to the to, to the pot and turn it on. Turn on this stove here. All right. Add some oil to him, and it ready for start. It ready for start do the process of frying. You know, soon as the oil get hot. You see me start make the dumpling them. You know? I eat that. Alright, good. So so nice. So go back to this pot you know with the aki. You know say I can aki and can aki kinda of mash out. So people look away you no, know, not even want to show you no know, but now show me still, can aki a foreign you have to use when they are Jamaica. So, now show me what it look like. You can go and bubble up first. Mm -hmm. Let the oil stay close by. Because it's soon time for me to um, start fry them. So here we are people. So look ya, yeah. that aki and tuna fish this you know. Aki and tuna fish this people. So here we now. Aki and tuna fish. Then, dumpling gonna start dropping in the pot now. To fry. 
Make sure me turn down the stove real dumb. A dumpling go start dropping my pot to fry me. And now make me dumpling them little and round. See them there? I make me dumpling them little and round, you know. Them little round dumpling me I make today. Very little and round. Two. Yeah. As small as them can be, me I make them cause. Notice, when you don't have a lot of baking powder leave, he can't to make your dumpling them too big, you know. You don't know what they going to come out like. You have to make your dumpling them small, you know, and your dumpling them come out tough. So, I make the dumpling them small. I'll do, I put some coconut oil in them already, knead it up with the baking powder. So, that should sure make it come out soft, you know. So, I'm not worrying too much. So, yeah. Roll up them thing here. Put in an iPod, people. Then we going to show you the process. Next step, we just going to break down the tripod and bring it closer so we can see. Yeah. yeah. Dumpling them here, roll up in you know, a people. Roll up them dumpling them, very tiny and small, you know. Make them stay there and go and work. Fry, you see. Mm -hmm. Now I have an idea, I have a better idea. I'm going to break down this tripod here slowly but surely. See, don't turn them in high pot, the people. You know? Break down this tripod, bring it up to the table level. One. Don't play them in the pot there. See them there? Okay, I'll break, me I'll break down this tripod there. Yeah. Bring it to a level which part I can see the things better. Yeah, don't matter the shaking. Yeah. Alright. So, this going to be it, people, see it there, see it there, people, I eat that, you know, right about this, you know, see it there, alright, what we going to do next, we going to do a, um, Let me see. Okay. So them dumpling, you know, people. Go steal this one, just. 